So communicating with dogs is about tone, touch and body language. So we've already talked about tone, the sounds that we make, uh, and I want to have a little chat with you about, about touch and the way we use touch with dogs. Dogs use touch quite a bit. When they're playing, they're bumping into each other, they're snuggling up, the first kind of touch that they, they ever know really is that feeling of mum, you know? So they're playing with their little litter mates, snuggling up against them, they feel that warmth of the body. So touch is quite important to dogs. The obvious one is, is when you're stroking a dog. Um, um, so part of rewarding a good behaviour might be to say, oh, good boy, oh, that's nice, yeah? So oh, it feels nice, sounded nice, it is nice, I'll do it again, simple as that. But it could be that you don't want your voice to sound quite so calm. So for example, if you're doing a recall, so you're calling your dog back to you in the field, right? Um, so you call your dog, so uh, right tone of voice, something we talked about in a previous video, could be something like, Fido, come right? Sounded the part, didn't it? Nice and bright. Fido goes ding, 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 all the way back to us. So if we go, oh, good boy, that's really nice. He's like, well, yeah, pleasant enough, but a bit boring, frankly, and the squirrel's over there. So there's times when you want to be more excited. So it should be a bit more like this. Fido, come. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, good boy, Fido. Yes, good lad. That's when I'm injecting a bit of excitement into the joint. So there's a time when you want a calm tone and a calm touch potentially, and there's times when you want excited, right? So this, in terms of touch, would be, yeah, good boy, excited. I want to rev him up for some reason. If I'm a police officer training a, a police dog and about to, to set him off running across the field to go get the nasty man in the big Mr. Fist suit thing that they use for training, yeah? I'm not going to be going, good boy, killer. That's lovely. Nice. Attack. <laughs> too calm, right? The touch, as well as the sound, but the touch was too calm. We may well be going, yeah, good boy, bang, bang, bang. Yeah, good, good, good. Boom, off you go, it'd be off like a shot, yeah? When I had a couple of Rottweilers, big, boisterous, teenage Rottweilers, I would get to me uh, mum and dad's house, and they were already quite elderly, you know? And my dad had had dogs as a kid, um, and his, my dad's way of doing anything was like, yeah, good, good boys, good boys. So they'd, I'd get them fairly calm, I'd get them into the house in the bungalow, and they'd come in, they'd be all right, and then my dad would go, hello Axel, hello Gordon, nice to meet you, good boy, good boy. They'd go around skittling furniture and my mum's prize crockery all around the joint, finally come to a, to a ground uh, halt, and my dad would say, boy, they're a bit excitable, your dogs, aren't they? Yeah, there's a reason for that, Dad. <laughs> My dad's not with us anymore, bless him. <laughs> but I could never stop him from doing that. There's a time when you want an excited touch and there's a time when you want a calm touch. And how to know the difference? It's dead simple. If you want more excited behaviour, excited touch. If you're rewarding a calm behaviour and you want to keep a lid on it, guess what? Calm touch. Couldn't be easier, could it? <laughs>